Hi friends, it's Miss Mary. I'm here with Annette and she's going to read us a book today. It's called Nugget and Fame. In the deep, deep ocean lived two best friends, Nugget and Fame. They did everything together. They swam over glug. They swam over glug glug. They swam all around glug, glug, glug. Life was close to perfect. Until it was time for Nugget to go to, to, go to school. Welcome to a brand new year. On Monday, Nugget was busy with reading. Today's story is all about three little minnow, minnows and a big bad shark. A bad, bad shark, ha, said Nugget, impossible. Nugget was busy with one plus one equals two, two plus two equals four. But what if there were ten minnows and a shark came along and ate four of them? How many minnows are left? Is that a trick question? A shark would never do that, said Nugget. And Nugget was busy with sharks are scary. Here's the proof. Marine food chain shark. The stuff on that poster isn't true, said Nugget. My best friend is a shark. Have you lost your gills? Shark and minnows can't be friends. Friends. Hello, shark eat minnows. Nugget was shocked and apparently delicious. That afternoon, Nugget explained it all to fame. Sharks are toothy. Sharks are scary. Sharks are minnows can't. Sharks and minnows can't be friends. Here's a song. Sounds fishy to me, said fame. It's true, see, said Nugget. He held up his test. Then he swam far, far away. Fame, fame's heart sank. There was nothing he could do about being toothy, but he needed his best buddy back. He had to prove he wasn't scary. On Tuesday, many min minnows had a surprise visitor, a very big surprise visitor. The visitor gave Nugget his friendless smile. Shark, swim for your lives. Oh my. Algae. Algae said, Nugget, it's Fame. On Wednesday, Fame tried a different approach. He wants to eat you for dinner. Holy macaroni, said Nugget. On Thursday, Fame tried everything he could think of. A tattoo, a special delivery. You're fantastic. But nothing. A song and dance, but nothing worked. On Friday, Finn was out of ideas. All alone, he swam over blub. He swam under blub blub. He swam all around blub blub swamp. Life was not even close to perfect. Fane was so busy boo-hooing, he didn't notice a net drop down, 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 right on the min mini minnows. Oh no, I feel seasick. We're the, ca we're the catch of the day. The net pulled up, up. Somebody help! Fane squ squint squ squinted. Squinted nugget. He had to do something, but what? Fang fa fanned his feigned his gill what feigned his gills. He wrung his fins then. Ping! Fang had ping Fang fa Fang had a plan. Fang's big sharp teeth chomped. Fang's big sharp teeth chewed. Fang saved the mini minnows. All the minnows started. All the minnows stared. I know, I know, said Fane. I'm too, too scary, too shark. Nugget swam toward Fane. 
There were ten minnows, he said, and a very special shark came along. How many friends are there all together? There was only one answer. In the deep, deep ocean lived eleven friends. They swam over Glug. They swam under Glug Glug. They swam all around Glug Glug. And everyone was all smiles, especially you know who. Thanks, Annette. What a nice story. Thanks for listening, friends. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.